All right, Jake, are you ready? Yeah. We are staying close to home today and we are checking out Kilbasi Fest here in Shenandoah, Pennsylvania. And it is a large fest specifically set around kielbasa but there's lots of other things to do and see and eat and i'm excited for it i'm hungry i'm hungry too so we're gonna go check out the food see what they got and enjoy our day it is raining a little bit we got a little bit of a drizzle going on right now but that's not gonna stop us right jake nah. now let's check out kielbasa fest All right, this is right in downtown Shenandoah, PA. This is only a few miles away from our house, so we figure we'd come over and check it out. This is set up by the Shenandoah Downtown Community Association. And um, as you can see, there are some vendors, there's lots of food, there's gonna be some music, things to do for the kids, and we're excited to check it out. Looks like we got some Mexican food, quesadillas and tacos, got some drinks. Oh, I see some boba. I want to check that out. See, too bad Annabelle didn't come. She could have gotten some boba. It's very busy even though it's raining, but I've seen it a lot busier, so we'll see what they got. They even got some wineries, Jake. You gonna try some wine? Okay. No, no. Wine slushies though, that sounds delicious. Mint tea, some good popcorn. We got another winery over here. I've seen Mexican food. I've seen German food. I've seen Polish food. We're really excited for all the different things they got. Looks like some Indian food, some dosas with potato fi filling and chutney. It's really exciting to see all the different, all the different vendors, but also all the different uh, cultures that are coming together specifically for Kilbasi Fest and showing off what they got. We are at one of our favorite places here in Shenandoah, Lucky's Kelbo. We really enjoy our kielbasa. We get it for Christmas and for Easter. They got a lot of good stuff. I'm gonna end up getting the bonduki on a stick. Jacob is going for pizza first, right? Yeah. yeah. That's three large meatballs, Polish meatballs made out of kielbasa on a stick. What do you think, Jake? Yeah. You excited to try it? Yeah. Go ahead, give her a shot. Don't stab yourself. Mmm. Oh, that's delicious. That's delicious, huh? Mm -hmm. It looks really good. Look at the inside of that. Got lots of spices. Now these are made out of pork, but they are very good. Yeah. You're gonna have some more? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't stab yourself. I won't. Got some beautiful looking pastries. It's uh phyllo dough and roll mm. and chocolate and cinnamon. Got some smoked barbecue down here. Oh, that sounds, oh, okay. that smells it smells delicious, doesn't it? What do they got? Pulled pork, briskets, mac and cheese. Ooh, jalapeno poppers. I think I'm gonna get me some jalapeno poppers then, Jake. Now our goal today is I pulled $40 in cash. We're gonna eat as much as we possibly can with the $40 I got. I think we'll get a lot to eat because the prices seem pretty fair so far. Yeah. And there are a ton of vendors. I saw hard cider, I saw wine, I saw Mexican, Indian, Polish, German, Italian, what? Oh yeah? Free samples. We got lots of different things to try and also buy. This is really cool, pop can aviation. They take different cans and turn them into planes. I don't know if spin. Pop can aviation. It's really cool. It's a great way to recycle, Jake. Yeah. What do you think? It's a pretty cool way to recycle. Mm -hmm. They had the Highlanders here. We heard them as we were coming in, playing the bagpipes, but they're done now. Maybe it'll start back up again, we'll see. Yeah. And I really like how the different places, depending on where they're from, they hang a flag from their country. I've seen Dominican Republic, I've seen Mexico, I've seen India, Pakistan. I saw meat on a stick, Jacob, other than what we just had. I think we, I want to go back, try that. You want some pizza, right? Yeah. We'll get you some pizza. Dad, what? why do we eat so much stuff on a stick? It's easy to walk around and eat on a stick. We got a polka band, the Shenandoah All-Star Polka Band. All right, 
Jake, let's go get you some pizza. Num num num. Num num num. I thought you were gonna dance. <laughs> no. All right, we're going all the way back to the beginning. This is about three blocks long that we've noticed so far. Lucky's Kelbo is pretty busy. Kovalenik's Kobasi is pretty busy, but that's to be expected. One thing we do in this area is we put hot sauce on our pizza. It's usually made out of the pizza sauce with red pepper flakes and other things added to give it a nice kick on top of your pizza. Jake don't like hot sauce yet, but I really do. I love hot sauce on my pizza. There we go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And that's your slice, Jake. Oh, that looks good, Jake. Two dollars isn't bad. Like I said, the prices are pretty good. Mm. Plus we had Gears products, which is a nice local product that we have around here. It's kind of like your farmer's tea, your really, really sweet sugary tea. Yeah, that this is delicious. It's very good, huh? Yeah. yeah. Mrs. T's pierogies is slowly becoming a national brand for pierogies. They are based here out of Shenandoah, so it's not surprising that they got something here. We're gonna keep checking out all the different places. As Jake enjoys his pizza. Yep. I love birch beer. Birch beer is an acquired taste, right? Yeah, it is. It's kind of Pepto Bismol y, but it's delicious. Kids sometimes say it's spicy. Yes. I, oh, I like spicy yeah. birch beer, though. You don't see that much anymore, where they add the extra spice to it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day here. Thank you. Hopefully the rain stops and you guys get busier. All right, Jake, we got our birch beer. For those that don't know, birch beer is made out of birch trees. We have tons of white birch trees in our area, so it was very common when I was a kid to always have birch beer here. It's kind of like made like root beer, and uh, but it has more of a medicinal-y flavor, kind of pepto bismol -y. So if you're not into that flavor, you may not enjoy it. I really do enjoy it, I like it a lot. So every time I see it, I try and get it. Wine slushies. I think I'm gonna get some halushki. Oh, they got El Pastor tacos over here, Jake. They look delicious. I love the beautiful costumes that some of the workers, she might be performing at some point today yeah. or working at a stand, but we're going to set this down and try and get the drink started. Jake's finishing up his pizza. I think he needs a napkin because he has it all over his face. Nah, you're going to use your shirt, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. No, I'm joking. I'm not going to do All right, Jake's going to try some birch beer. Now this is golden birch beer. You could also get white birch beer that'll be clear. It'll look like Sprite. Go ahead, give it a shot, Jake. Ooh, that's good. It's very good, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It kind of has a sweet taste to it. A little bit sweet. But like, I'm not complaining. It's, no. It's, 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 a, it's a very good substitute for root beer, in my opinion. Yeah, it's very tasty. It is very similar to root beer, but also not the same. I'm a, it, it, it's, it's weird because it looks like beer. So like, it's weird trying it. Yeah. I could see that, but you can definitely tell it's not beer because they give you a straw. <laughs> I love the name, Flaming Jalapeno. They got horchata drinks, tacos, quesadillas. I think we've looked at them before. Hopefully the rain stops. Hopefully. It's just like a little drizzle. drizzle. Yeah, it's not a great rain. Look at your face. Look at it. <laughs> but hopefully the rain stops and we can enjoy the rest of our time over here without it being too yucky, you know? Thank you very much. Thank you. So we got some pierogies from Mrs. T's pierogies. We love Mrs. T's pierogies. Thank you, Jake. So these are pierogies filled with mashed potatoes and cheese and then cooked in butter and onions. Four pierogies for two bucks. They look delicious. That is a great price. I'm super excited for these. I know they're our hometown pierogies are our hometown favorites, but man, oh man, you can't go wrong with $2 pierogies. No. No, not at all. And then we'll keep looking for more food. There's lots of good stuff here. We're also gonna get some skewers. They look very good. So they have pork or chicken skewers. They look delicious.
Jake's gonna try to progies. Just pick it up and take a bite, Jake. Right. We're not fancy here. I'm not worried about it. So you still got pizza sauce all over your face, so I'm not too upset about it. We found a stoop to sit on. We're just gonna sit and enjoy ourselves. You don't mind the onions, right? No. No. All right, I'm gonna try the kebab. Let's hope I don't get hit by a door. This looks delicious. I don't know what they were putting on it, but it smells amazing and I'm super excited for it. This is pork, they had pork and chicken. Mm. That's really good, Jake. Go ahead, take a bite. Mm. Oh yeah, that is really good. You have pierogi right here. Oh my goodness. All right, we finally got an item, but it's very good. Jake's gonna try the bread. They also put the barbecue sauce and. Uh, ooh, what do you mean ooh? It's got a kick to it with um, the barbecue sauce. It's got a little kick to it? Yeah, but it's delicious though. Mmm. Oh, you're right. That, no, I don't think it's the barbecue sauce. I think it's the green stuff they put on it. Oh. Got a little bit of a kick. Oh, that is really good. good. Alright, we're going to eat this and then find some more stuff. Right now we are at $5 left out of our first 20, so I think we're doing pretty good. We got a decent amount of food for a decent amount of, of money. The pierogies were only two bucks because they were donating the money to the downtown community association. So that was nice. Jacob just housed those four pierogies and ate some pork and now he said he's full. So we're gonna go check out a game and walk around and check out some other stuff. Yeah. And then we're gonna make our way back to eating some food. Okay. Like I said, we're at about $15 spent so far and We've eaten some decent amount of food, gotten a yeah. drink. I think we've done pretty well for the two of us to, he's full and I'm not full, but I could eat one more thing for like five bucks and be happy. Yeah, like the drink even survived all the way from the beginning. Uh huh. So I, I really do think that this was a very good price for how much, like a very good fortune. Oh yeah. Like, like it was Three bucks for that and there's, yeah. no, there's no ice in it. No ice. It comes out nice and cold already. Yeah, like it's so, so cold. They got some good coal region merchandise if you're interested in that. Remember here in Schuylkill County, they call this the Skook, S-K-O-O-K. -O -O so if you see that around, that's what that references to here in Schuylkill County, we're the Skook. I'm interested in what they got at that little stand there. It looks like they got empanadas. They look pretty delicious and they've been busy. So that tells me people are enjoying them. Getting a roast chicken. Oh, curry, queso, carne, is beef. We got all different types of empanadas. So we got an empanada, we got some sauce. Oh, I'm excited for this, Jake. So I got an empanada. I think it's Jacob. What are you doing? I don't know what it is because there was a little bit of a language barrier. But it has some chicken in it. And it smells really good. And it came with some sauce, so. We're gonna try it. That's pretty good. I think it has a green curry in it. That's yeah, pretty tasty. That was five dollars. I don't think five dollars is too bad. I don't know if you can hear me because of the music, but this was very good. Yeah. All right, Jake's gonna try a carnival game. We got wiffle ball toss, but we also got ring toss, bobblehead ring toss. He's gonna try to ring toss. He's gonna get seven rings for four dollars, and let's see what he can win. And he's dancing. All right, Jake, let's get a win. There you go. All right.
right, you got one. Something off the table or something hanging up, Jake. What did you end up getting, Jake? Fart putty. How not surprising. That's all right. We'll enjoy the fart putty as we can. All right, let's see what else we got. Boba's Den is very busy. It's called Atomic Kitchen. Check them out. Looks like they got tons of boba options. Lots of popping pearls. Let's see what they got. Milk tea, purple tea, boba fat, lavender cream. And they got lots of, you could build your own. It's called Atomic Kitchen. Check them out. Jake's getting cold. He won his prize. His belly's full. I think he's ready to go. Yeah. We're gonna check out one or two more things and then I think we're gonna get out of here. Jacob saw. So this is his famous fries. They top it with tons of stuff. They have crabby, lobster, Nashville hot, loaded. We got the Harvest Corn Company. Katie would eat that. That's probably the only thing she would eat while she's over here. That and pierogies. Ooh, smoked cheese for $6. Pepper Jack, horseradish, and Cooper. I love smoked cheese. Smoking cheese is hard though, Jake. You gotta do it at a very low temperature so it doesn't melt the cheese. I like beans. <laughs> he likes beans. Starting to rain heavier. We're gonna check out a couple more things. Oh, I got hot dogs and empanadas there. So good. Jacob's almost, Jacob almost went down. You okay? You almost went down. We're gonna get some tacos from La Casita. Here, they're based here out of Shenandoah, PA. They got the truck and they got a beautiful restaurant and they make some really excellent food. Jake's tacos came, three tacos for $11. As you can tell, he's super excited. Look at it, look at his face. Look at him, super excited. How are they, Jake? Good. Did you get a good bite on that one? Yeah. Yeah, you got all the cheese and look at all the beef in there. All right, Jake, we're back in the car and we enjoyed ourselves at Kilbasi Fest. We're a little wet. We're very wet. Jacob yeah. is soaked. But um, it was a good time. We spent about an hour and a half here. We spent 39 out of the $40 and that included Jacob's um, game for, what was that? $4? Yeah. Um, he got fart putty. So it is what it is. Enjoy the fart putty. <laughs> but we... We... Um, I really enjoyed myself. What do you think, Jake? I enjoyed it. You enjoyed it? We yeah. ate pretty well for $40 for two people. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was too bad. We had empanadas. We had a uh, traslacious cake. That was right at the end. Jacob's eating his tacos now. Yeah. We had uh, bandukis right in the beginning, pierogies, and um, I didn't get any halushki or, or bellinis. They were the yeah. two other things I was kind of hoping to get, but I didn't get any. Um, what else do we have? A slice of pizza. We got mm -hmm. the uh, drink. We got like that stick thing. That was I, the, I do two things. Right in the beginning, we had the bonduki stick, yeah. but then we also got the, the pork stick. Mm -hmm. I think the prices were pretty good. It was an average of like $5 per thing, so I don't think that was too bad. No. I enjoyed myself. I wish it wasn't raining, but at the same time, because it was raining, it was I think it kept people away. Yeah. Um, so. I would come back here next year, but with more people, because it's really hard to carry stuff. Yes, that is true. If you're coming as a two-person team, make sure you bring a bag or something to kind of carry the excess of what you're going to have. Because unless you're going to sit down and eat it right away, you're not gonna, you're going to have stuff to carry. Um, because we have drinks, not drinks. Well, we had the drink and we had the tres leches cake, which we didn't finish. The empanada I was eating, we didn't finish. So it's kind of a pain carrying stuff around and try and pay and try and video. Yeah. Maybe if I didn't have a hand doing video, that may have helped. But it is what it is. We really enjoyed ourselves. Uh, again, it, $39 out of $40. I don't think that was bad for the two of us. Our bellies are full. We're happy. We're wet but we're happy and uh, we're gonna make our way home now as always thanks for watching and we'll see you later bye